Hey guys, it's Amy from Ara Ara here with another reaction video. If you don't know me as yet, I've actually been doing reaction videos for a Netflix original series called Cotterer Lives Alone. So if you haven't seen it, please do check it out. It's the very first time I've ever done a reaction video for anything for this channel. So it would be great if you guys check it out. So now I will be doing a reaction for another Netflix original and this time it's going to be a movie. It's called Bubble and it's one of the most awaited anime for the season. I mean, me myself had the notification bell on on Netflix just to be able to watch this on April 28th. Though I didn't end up doing that because I got busy. But still, <laughs> here we are at least like pretty early on in the game. <laughs> So what's interesting about Bubble is that it's got a star-studded team behind the movie. I mean, you've got people behind the titles of like Attack on Titan and Death Note, just to name a few, who worked on Bubble. So it's really exciting to see how this cast has all collaborated together just to make this movie. And from the trailer alone, it's very, very visual. It's got a lot of Shinkai feels actually. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out. So just as a heads up, I will be watching Bubble subbed. I was watching Contra Lives Alone dubbed. So yeah, just letting you guys know. I'm just really excited about this film because it's very star studded, but at the same time, I'm hoping it's not disappointing because uh, for those who don't know me so far, I'm someone who loves to watch movies and tv shows like i just spent my time doing that and the thing is when it comes to star studded casting films a lot of the times it's just really run on hype and it's not that great and i hope that's not what bubble has to offer but yeah i mean either way i'm excited so yeah let's just get going and start the movie So it's this sort of like the Big Bang, like in the beginning there was a bubble and then it burst into Earth. <laughs> oh shit, it might actually be that. If you guys don't know, the movie is their interpretation of the original Little Mermaid, not the Disney one. So it's very interesting to see how this interpretation will go. The camera movement is so fluid. And I mean like how they follow, how it follows while they're doing parkour. It's amazing. ま、で、47、37。うわ、完全 of course, the main character is someone who does whatever he wants. But he's one of those Sasuke types who just does whatever, really. And is all chill and has no expressions. Oh. 
Ah, uh, yep, for sure. That cool guy. Watching the parkour is so fascinating. Is there actually someone that needs there? But uh, that moment of hesitation though, I mean when you're doing parkour, you shouldn't hesitate, you should just sort of go for it. But yeah, I mean it's understandable, like you saw possible goals, so Okay, is this alluding to the very first scene? Yeah. Ponyo. It reminded me of Ponyo, the transformation. Yeah, no, of course, he has to breathe underwater. だ。だれ。ああ。この子が響きを救い出してくれたようだ。そもそもこの子どこかな。見たことあるか。マジ、ついつもに。まるで猫だな。おい、勝手に歩けって。こう、逃げた。なんでってんの。ね、この勝負か。とんでもない。いや。I
よ一人で自主練もいいけどさたまにはデッキ出てこいよ<笑>ちょおいのおかげで連勝してるうちらだそろそろ新戦力で備えないとなリーダー誰のおかげってっシンプレー分かってねえやつばっかだこの子の名前はさあ命の恩人でしょじゃあ歌なんか歌ってたから何それ適当歌<笑>響き歌<笑>響き歌<笑>歌あ気に入ったみたいねさあ入るよシンさんやだこんなところにあ<笑> So while all the boys are after her she gets flustered over him あの子はどう元気にしてます響きが歌って名前つけたんですよそしたらもう懐いちゃってええー、ならパルクールもすぐ上手くなるかもなシンさんはもうやらないんですかパルクール<笑>年だからまああとこれだしな俺みたいな無茶をするやつをよく見張ってないといけないタワー事故の生き残りだからな響きもそもそもやめさせるべきですあんな危ないこと本来あの子たちをここにさせてはいけないんですよ<笑>まあそこは自己責任だな外の世界はあいつらにとって息苦しいのさあ、um, lost his family その話かわいそうで苦手なんだよねなんで王女を助けた人魚姫がワインなんて消えなきゃいけないわけこれってネタバレか、um, Yes <laughs> I mean obviously she hasn't read it yet 深い深い海の底に人魚の城があった人間の世界に身を焦がすほど憧れていた海の上に出た人魚姫は船に乗っていた人間の王子を見て王子様え人魚姫<笑> It's interesting that the little mermaid is a story that exists in their world and then she just relates to that 王子様世界は崩壊と再生を繰り返してるって集まって爆発して散らばってまた集まる私たちの銀河も確か45億年後に
アンドロメダ銀河と一つになるんだってそしたら爆発してまたチリジリになるってことそうそして私たちの体を作る元素はいずれまた集まって別の星の材料になるのうずそう渦渦は銀河にも台風にも生体分子の構造にも現れる生命の決まったフォームうず集まって爆発して、mm. I think the burst might be a reason why He wears his headphones. Maybe it's traumatizing for him. So, any loud sounds like the burst is just too much for him to take. Ah, m i n i ここに流れ着いてたんだ珍しいなってお前にも聞こえるのか波の音<笑>俺さ昔から町は音が多くて怖かったなんでみんなは平気なのかなってこうなって母さんを困らせた。Okay, so it had nothing to do with the burst. いろんな病院を転々として。泡が降ったとき、施設のみんなとタワーにいたんだ。爆発があって、目が覚めたら助け出されてて。その時のことあんま覚えてない覚えてるのはその時に聞いた歌本当はずっと探してるんだあの音を Was saving him the only time she could touch him? Coco and Toko Julio have a tooth to front there. It ties Kara Utago Coconicita. Oh, I overzainas. Oh, I overzainas. Makotoga Lacerata Yatra, Battle Kuro, Sotoni, Hysin Stay Rashi, Tokyo Desgam, Toka Namaskata. Ano Bertamo. スポンサーがついてんだってよ再生数稼ぎで誘拐ダサ響きボコス You know there's their love story sort of makes me think of like Tarzan and Jane in a way ウタの初陣だなおいあれ見ろよクラックの下人がいるぞI like how calm he is as a game master. Like, someone in his team was kidnapped and he's conducting the game pretty calmly. Where is it? 
that. All of this just for views? Are you kidding me? What's it? That's some intense parkour. <laughs> oh, he no longer needs his auditory sensitive equipment. Oh, she can't hold him.本日そうしなければ。あなたは。歌。出して。て。初勝利のお祝い。俺。歌のこと。今すぐ東京を出ないと。でも響きと歌が戻ってねえよ。お。お。歌。お前。この歌は君。うん。銀魚姫は。おじ様の姿を求めながら。海の上に浮かび上がった。君だったんだね。銀魚姫の胸は。今にも張り裂けそうだ。<笑> <銀魚姫の胸は>、<笑> Oh, 
今日が最後なのだから今日が最後撃た<笑><笑>タワーに行くはやめろ響き危険だ俺が行かなきゃダメなんです本当にウータがあそこにいるってのかああ一緒に来てくれ行くぞちょちょっとあれあれれビビーのエースにフォールさせられないだろウータは貴重な戦力だしなほら<笑>しかわからないことがタワーにはあるってそれをあの子たちも感じてるんです東京バトルクールは自主性重視でしょ購入しますか<笑>青い炎で焼き尽くすやべえ状況だなあの赤い青は危険だ取り付いてくるマジかいつものゲームじゃねえ油断すんなよく見てけろ了解の断片を伝って展望台に取り付く<笑>しかし最後の断片から3 0メートルは飛ばないと届かないぞいくらこのブースでも俺が先行する<笑>シンさんどうしてここにお前らを連れ戻しに来たって言いたいところだがどうしても行きたいなら経験者がいた方がいい<笑>俺はあの時。時俺は泡たちの怒りに触れてしまったのかもしれない。
姫は王子様を見つめてまっしぐらにうなぞこに身を投げ出した。Is life. Hokai to say, say, what could he guess? Yakusanji Hachok named my no big banker. What I said to no carado to good against all. Nando Matsunari, Hoshitonari, Moetsuki de Shushikushi, Hosh to Saritikita. So she mata uzo to good the Mazariai. Yagate Wakari. いつかこの世界が命を終え地球が滅びたとしても私たちはまた大きな渦の一つとなるのだろうだからいつかまた会おう青い炎で焼き尽くすやっぱ母さん So that was Bubble. So the story is set in a world where this bubble explosion occurred and there is no explanation why this phenomenon occurred except that it happened and it's just something that you as an audience has to accept for the sake of appreciating um, the, the rest of the art form. Just, to, just accept that this is the world now and that's basically it. And that's fine. The thing is, it makes a lot of people think that this is a plot to like an exciting shonen adventure, but it's not. The story is centered on Hibiki, Yuta, and the Blue Blazes as they have parkour battles inside the bubble. 
I think that if you look at it from the surface as just a star-crossed romance, you're gonna think it's pretty mid. Um, but if you take a closer look, it's I think there's a deeper meaning to that. I think that it's about problems people may have to face and how they hide away into their own little world. I mean, we literally see the reason why the park where people are there is because they ran away from from the city and literally went into their own bubble. So yeah, metaphorically, it's about people who who go into their own bubble to deal with whatever's going on around them. You have Hibiki, who needs to hide away because he's sensitive to the sounds around him, that, you know, it it could allude to a more um, mental issue. There's a guy that smells things and colors around. Um, we have the team leader and his prosthetic leg. That's more of a physical problem. And it still caused him to go into his own little bubble because we see that little photo of him and his family and we can assume that they have passed away because of the bubble burst so i mean he needed to escape in his own way this is about people going inside their little bubble and into their comfort zone because the world outside reality in general is a cruel place but it's also about how you aren't alone like you aren't the only person that hides away and goes into your own bubble there are people out there who do the same and are still there for you there are people out there who still watches out for you even if you don't know it and with all the awkwardness the pain and the trauma in this world there will be people who will have your back so when the world starts to fade away in reference to her dissolving and the whole um, bubble occurrence all over again. Something really cruel and tragic can be happening, but there are always, there's always someone that is looking out for you. And you can see that with the team and Yuta herself as she's go, going through it and Hibeki saving Yuta, regardless of whether he knows that the situation is for not. There are parallels to The Little Mermaid as well. So before it came out, it pretty much sold itself as its own interpretation of The Little Mermaid. And it was literally that. It was literally about a girl who interpreted The Little Mermaid into her own life. Now, I used to be a complete bookworm as a child and I grew up reading the books of writers of the likes of Roald Dahl, C.S. Lewis, and of course, Hans Christian Andersen. And so I've been very familiar with the original version of The Little Mermaid and how it was written. So I knew the whole sea foam thing was coming and how tragic it really is in the book. So I couldn't help but shed a tear uh, for that scene. But I think that speaks more to my nostalgia than anything else because that's literally all that happened i literally just shed a tear um and anything after that had no impact on me whatsoever i mean that's the only thing that really hit me it was just the line towards the end where she started relating herself to the little mermaid and compared her situation to becoming seafoam the film is also very heavy on the themes of life death and rebirth. Life is a cycle of these themes and we will go through happiness and love and we will go through inevitable pain and this will continue on and on as long as the world keeps spinning I guess. So you can look at life as a tragedy or you can look at it as a hope for a reason to continue on living and for our protagonists, it was the latter. But yeah, it's pretty obvious to me that this is not the sort of film that you kind of take in face value. It leaves it up to you to give your own interpretation of it. And 
yeah so overall my conclusion is that it's more focused on the people and the mental and physical problems that they face and how they hide away into their own bubble metaphorically here literally um but as the cycle of life continues where there is pain and death there's also love and growth so as we continue on as people we need to work together as a team in order to survive so yeah um while i do appreciate this film this film is not gonna be a majority's cup of tea the minds behind this were obviously very brilliant i mean it's been proven in their works time and time again but i feel like with this one there's just something missing there's this gut-wrenching punch you know that little secret sauce that's needed to make it an even better film and i feel like it focused more on being pretty i mean it's it's eye candy, it's very orgasmic as well. But yeah, it focused more on that to build the story than to actually write to build the story. But I mean, I get it. Um, it's work, there are deadlines, time constraints. I mean, you can't expect perfection all the time. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I will have to give this a five out of 10. Again, I do appreciate it and do believe that there is a deeper meaning to it and it's not just a love story between two teenagers but i can't fully get behind the execution of it plus i don't know if i would be able to recommend this to anyone nor do i see myself watching it again so yeah i said what i said <laughs> i'm sorry like you really loved it um uh, but yeah, I do want to know your own interpretations of it because, again, I don't think it's just a love story between two teenagers in a dystopic world, you know? So there, uh, please comment below what you think. Thank you so much for watching Bubble With Me. I hope you continue to support watching our anime reviews and I hope you get to watch our podcasts as well. You get to know us a little better more than um just the reviews and the games so it would be really great that you continue to support us that way as well don't forget to like and subscribe you can follow me as well at at Amy, and i will see you guys next time